Hey everybody, it's David Sirota. So there's a really important study that came out here in Colorado about the fossil fuel industry. Uh, and it's not just really a study about Colorado, it's about the entire industry and its potential effect on people who live near oil and gas sites. And there's a political context to this as well. First, let me tell you about the study. Uh, this is a study published by uh, the Colorado School of Public Health at the University of Colorado's Anschutz Medical Campus. Now keep the name Anschutz in your mind. We'll get to that in a second. The study found that people living close to oil and gas wells may be at higher risk of cancer and other health issues than their neighbors further away. Now current Colorado regulations say that oil and gas wells can't be closer than 500 feet uh, to residential areas, but Boulder County, one county where there's oil and gas development, it's health officials say that setback amount may not be sufficient in light uh, when you consider the, the, uh, the study's findings about health effects. The CU study uh, was published in a, meta, in, a, in a science journal and found that cancer risk for people living within 500 feet of an oil and gas facility is eight times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency's top threshold, the, the limit that the EPA sets. So this is a really important study. Now, I mentioned the name Anschutz, remember that name, because there may be pushback to this study where you'll hear uh, the oil and gas industry may argue that this is, you know, they, they'll try to debunk the science, they'll try to say, oh, this is just liberal fear-mongering. Anschutz is the last name of Phil Anschutz, the conservative oil magnate. The, you know, he is a huge oil and gas guy, a, a conservative, uh, he's funded conservative causes. I mean, so this is, this is from a a public health uh, school, the University of Colorado uh, branch of that school that is funded by or has been funded by Phil Anschutz to the point where the, the school is named after him. So trying to say that this is, if that happens, that this is a sort of liberal study that you can't, that can't be believed is kind of undermined by the source of where it's coming from. And this is a real scientific study here in Colorado. I'm sure there's going to be questions about it. The oil and gas industry will likely try to challenge its findings, but those are the findings. Now, what's the political context? Because this study is coming out at a very important time in the political debate here and across the country when it comes to oil and gas development. This study comes out uh, right around the same time that Colorado's Republican Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman is trying to overturn a key legal ruling designed to protect public health and the environment. Kaufman, who was running for governor, this is from a Denver Post story, she sent a 68-page argument urging Colorado's Supreme Court to overturn an existing legal ruling requiring the protection of people and the environment before oil and gas drilling can be done. So think about that. You have the top Republican statewide elected official in this state pushing to overturn a legal ruling that simply says that when regulators are dealing with the question of oil and gas development, that regulators have to prioritize public health and the environment before uh, allowing those oil and gas development plans to go forward. The Republican attorney general of this state is pushing to overturn that ruling so that public health and the environment don't have to come first. And she is pushing for that to overturn that ruling at a time when we now have a new study from the University of Colorado and its health researchers saying that people who live near oil and gas wells may be at risk, at higher risk of higher rates of cancer. Now Kaufman has received oil and gas money for her political campaigns. Uh, she has been supported by major Republican groups that get lots and lots of money, even more money, from oil and gas groups. So what we have here is a situation where the oil and gas industry doesn't want regulators to prioritize public health and the environment over oil and gas development plans, and you've got a Republican official taking their side at the very moment that researchers in this state are saying that people may be at risk of serious health problems like cancer, higher risk of cancer, when they are living too close to oil and gas rigs. This puts together all of the different concurrent trends when it comes to the debate over fossil fuel development, uh, climate change, and the like. You've got science now colliding with a political effort to 
basically say that people and the environment should not be prioritized over oil and gas development. How is the Colorado Supreme Court going to rule? That's a big question. And it's a question that a lot of people I can tell you here in the state are waiting to hear the answer about. It's a really, really important case. But even beyond Colorado, this what we're learning from all of this science, whether it's science about fracking uh, and, and oil, uh, excuse me, and water uh, supplies, uh, what, now we've got science about uh, the potential health effects from pollutants uh, living near oil and gas rigs in general. There's obviously climate science. That the science collides with the politics. With politics, the, the oil and gas industry's uh, politics, the oil and gas industry's political representatives, effectively, its political allies, in this case a Republican attorney general, the science collides with the politics and they are in direct tension. The science in this case is saying that people may be at serious risk of major health problems for living too close to oil and gas rigs. The political process, meanwhile, through the Republican Attorney General's office, is saying the state should not prioritize public health and the environment over oil and gas development. How the state Supreme Court rules is going to be a big landmark decision. It will probably have ripple effects not only in Colorado, but all across the country as, as science and oil and gas development increasingly uh, come into conflict with each other.